Nikki, I'm glad you got me up here to take a look at this today and show it to our viewers. This is a beautiful property. This property is spectacular. So many, so many, so many options that could happen with this property. Um, we're going to be looking at nine bedrooms, mm. four bathrooms, um, and almost on an acre lot. Close to everything, two seconds from Broom, SUNY Broom. Um, so, could make a wonderful bed and breakfast. Um, I might add that the, the one acre is absolutely beautifully landscaped. He worked long and hard at landscaping this. This whole porch was rebuilt um, from the ground up. This is why they purchased the property, this beautiful, beautiful porch. I love it. And then he went through and did all perennials. It's absolutely outstanding. We were talking about this property uh, when you were listing it, and my understanding was is that it, it's been, the people lived here and then they rented the second floor to, you know, like maybe four or so uh, girls from the college. Yes. And, so and it, it's, its entire career with these owners mm -hmm. has been that. Um, it has been a student rental for 30 years. Wow. So basically, the girls lived upstairs, it paid the mortgage, and they were able to raise their family in the lower level. The house is just under 4,200 square feet, so wow. certainly large enough for that. Um, it does have a three-car garage, so lots and lots of space. Um, and then upstairs, there's a five-bedroom, two-bath apartment. Um, she prefers to keep it at three students, just because the family does live here. Um, but there's room to make it, you know, potentially you could have nine to ten students here very easily. Well, you know, that's, and you could also make it a bed and breakfast. You could yes. also make it a visiting professor's thing or something like that. Absolutely. You know, um, Airbnb is the hottest thing going right yeah, now, and yeah. it would certainly qualify for something like that. Or if you just wanted to own a, a large, classic, glamorous house on a beautiful landscaped acre right on Front Street, close to everything, you could do that too. Group home, anything. It'd be wonderful. Anything, yeah. Well, let's go take a look at some of the insides. Sounds great. Let's go. So, Tom, <clears throat> outstanding kitchen. Um, from the tin ceilings to the handcrafted maple cabinets um, to the extra expense she went to put in the maple flooring. Um, cupboard space everywhere, um, lots and lots of storage. Um, not only is there a full pantry off the kitchen, but then there's also another cloakroom um, for coach shoes, etc. cetera. Wow. Nothing ever has to come in this way. Um, and then attached to that is the three car garage. So all indoors when you get home in the winter. All indoors when you come in the winter, yeah. And you got a laundry there, I see too. Yep, um, full laundry on this floor, and then the upstairs apartment does actually have access to laundry too. So kids would have their own laundry too right. if that was the way you kept going with it. This kitchen's great. I love it. Everything. Oh, there's a bath here too. Okay, great. Well, so what's next? So um, we'll head into the living room and the parlor. So I want to draw your attention to the doors. So when they purchase this, this house has been an absolute labor of love for 30 years. So these were all painted. All of this has been stripped away to show the natural grain and beauty of the wood. Mm -hmm. um, and then in addition, um, there's tons and tons of alcoves and niches in this house. And downstairs, she saved everything from the original house. So there is like um, molding pieces that can come that can go up if you if they really wanted to Restore. go to the century of the house yeah. like you know just maybe something she hadn't quite got to but I mean just hours just even on on one door it's just phenomenal. What what is the century that it was built? It's the eighteen. It's eighteen eighty. Okay, I was going to say it's the nineteenth century. It felt like to me. Um, and since you answered that first, I could say that. Anyway, That's heating. I understand you got a, a, this fireplace. I didn't realize until just now it's two-faced. Yes. On that side, it's wood or coal? or It's or wood, wood. yeah. Mm -hmm. And on this side, it's, it's um, just a regular fireplace. Yep, um, with the brick exposure, which they kept it natural, so it's beautiful. The detail on this house is just outstanding. Someone, you know, it will take a special someone that just loves mm -hmm. the history of the home, but it's got it here. This Every part of this is here. So this is the second floor apartment. So yes, so five bedrooms, two baths up here. Um, yeah. Like I said, rented for 30 years consistently. The last year um, she didn't for personal reasons choose to do that, um, but we do actually have two students already and working on the third. Um, she only allows three up here. However, there's five bedrooms. Each of the rooms is a gigantic size and they each rent for $550 per room. 
Well, I, I, I don't want to sound uh, uh, greedy, but I think you could even put two in some of these rooms. These rooms are big. At one time, um, the people before them, of course, they ran it in a different way. Mm -hmm. You know, their family lived downstairs, so, you know, they wanted to keep what they wanted to keep. Right. Um, but these rooms are large enough for two people per room. And he did do that at one time. So this space is, and there's a kitchen. We didn't mention the kitchen. Um, um, full kitchen, full eat kitchen. in, two full baths. And um, a lot of space. And tons of space. Separate entrance, its own washing machine. Yes. A and washer and dryer. Um, you know, it's ready to go. So we're back out here on the front porch. Where are we? What is the address? This is 929 Upper Front Street. Um, another thing to mention is that this is actually um, the beginning of uh, Shenango Valley School District. Okay. And, um, and I think another thing to mention, if we didn't, is probably three to four blocks max, you're at uh, SUNY, Broom, SUNY Bingham. Yes, absolutely. And, and I think that that is a key ingredient for this property. I mean, I, I think this is probably one of the nicest opportunities, condition-wise and everything else-wise. This is untapped potential. Yeah, it's... I it's, mean, we're flooding downtown, but here we are. Yeah. You know, just kind of a little forgotten about, and maybe we shouldn't be. Yeah, that's, that's great. I don't know, the zoning may not allow it exactly, but this could be a spectacular uh, office building, you know, for um, a big company. I do company. actually think we checked into that, and I do actually think that they will allow that. That's perfect. And there's, mm -hmm. what we didn't say so far is off the side street, there's another driveway yeah. potential. There. It's, it's not paved now, but it's easy enough to do. Easy enough to do. This is great. Nikki, thanks um, so much. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. One more thing that I'll... I, because it is an 1800s building and sometimes that scares people, um, just just let everyone know, we have done a pre-listing inspection and we passed with flying colors and the things that we didn't, we took care of. Wonderful. So we're ready to go. It's all set to go. Somebody can buy this, be operational for the fall season. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Nikki.